Welcome back. I haven't done a what's in my bag vlog this whole year, so I thought I'd share an updated 2024 one before the new year comes around. But first, let's make a coffee, grab a snack, get cozy, and do a quick bag unboxing. I had a lot of people ask me where I purchased this bag in our Summer in Japan vlog series. It was the only bag I brought with me when we were traveling for two months in Japan. Although it's not your typical summery looking bag since it is in black, it was great for both daily use and for travel. This bag is by a Korean brand called Stand Oil and the style is called the chubby bag. I originally saw this bag on Pinterest and thought it was an unusual shape. I was also on the market for a bowling bag. I wanted to buy a vintage Prada originally, but then after seeing this bag, I thought it was a great price point and very easy to style. So I ended up purchasing this actually in Bangkok. They were having a standal pop-up, so I got it there. I paid around 860 Hong Kong dollars. That's 111 USD. I'm pretty sure it's more pricey than if you went to the Stand Oil store in Korea. But I don't have any plans to go to Korea anytime soon. And since they had the bag in stock, I just bought it in Bangkok. The bag is always out of stock online. So if you ever see it, I highly suggest you to pick it up. It comes in a bunch of colors, including cherry red, pink, and a really luscious dark chocolate brown. Moving on to bag specs, this bag is made out of fake patent leather with a glossy finish. It is around 28 cm across, 16 cm in height, and then there's a 30 cm strap drop. It is a bowling style bag with a large zip closure. It is lined in cotton canvas, and on one side there is a large zip pocket, and on the other side there are two small pockets. The exterior also has two cargo pockets with the brand logo and at the back there is a small pocket. And just for reference, here are some model shots. I am around 5'8". I like this bag because of the strap drop. It makes it very easy to wear on a daily basis because I can just kind of stick it towards the back when I'm out and about. Also, this pocket is a game changer because this is where I keep all my 100 yen when I go roll capsule toys at the Gachapon store. Unlike my other Y2K bags that sit very high on the arm, the stand oil bag works really well in the winter, especially if you want to layer more and you have really oversized coats, it sits on the shoulder still. Even though the bag is very trendy, it can hold a lot of things. Here is a flat lay of all my personal items. Some of these items are more seasonal, but these items reflect my summer in Japan, and it's just to illustrate how much this bag can fit. So let's go through each item together. The first item is a portable fan we bought at Big Camera in Japan. Summers in Japan are no joke and you need to have a fan that cools you down as you walk. The fan has four speeds and it is chargeable by USB-C. We can use it a whole day and just charge it like every other day. We bought matching ones, so Vic has a pale blue one and I got it in this creamy butter yellow. If you're traveling to Japan in the summer, this is a summer essential. You need to carry an umbrella with you. The sun there is searing hot. I come from Hong Kong and it's kind of humid, but we never really need to use an umbrella when we're outside. So when we're in Japan, I had to buy an umbrella from Donkey to protect ourselves from the sun while we were walking. It is lined in black to completely block out the sun while we're walking. And it's also very compact and fits in my bag perfectly. 
Also, when it rains randomly, it's great to have this umbrella on hand. Even though it does look kind of flimsy and it is kind of small, it acts as a bit of shade so we can run to the train station. The next item is my iPhone 15 Pro Max. I usually just keep this in hand or in my jean pocket, but since we're talking about things I can put in my bag, this also fits in there too. I don't plan on upgrading to the 16 this year, so I just bought a new case and I attached some of my capsule toys on there. I'm obviously very obsessed and I'm just trying to find fun ways to incorporate my gachapon to my everyday items. We're living in the post-COVID world, but I still bring hand sanitizer with me. My friend Carol purchased this hand sanitizer for me from the Chattachak market when we were in Bangkok, and it smells amazing, and I love spraying it on my hands. Bonus, I get to keep my hands clean. This is my secondary vlogging camera. It is the Go 3S by Insta360. If you're looking for a camera that is easy to set up and when you're outside vlogging on the go, or if you're just really shy, this camera is great for carrying around. Sometimes we're too lazy to set up our main camera, so this camera is very discreet and very easy to bring on the go with us. It also has a flip screen and a magnet tripod attachment. However, I don't recommend this as a primary vlogging camera, just something to kind of create B-roll on because it's just easy to bring around with you. If you've watched my previous What's In My Bag videos, you've probably seen this card holder a bunch of times. This is by Smithson. It is a five pocket uh, card holder in this Nile blue color. I just like it because it slides in easily into my jean pocket and is very uh, discreet, simple, but is a pop of color. It also fits into the side pocket in my stand oil bag. So it feels very secure because it's very close to my body. A must if you're planning to visit Hong Kong, a packet of tissues. In Hong Kong, some restaurants don't provide tissues and if they do, they'll charge you additional for a packet and some bathrooms just don't have toilet paper, so it's always useful to carry this around in your purse. This is a lip gloss by a brand called Peripera from South Korea. I bought this on my last trip to Japan and I just carry around, but I honestly don't use it that much. The lip tint itself is quite sheer if you just put on a first application but if you add more layers, you can get a more saturated lip color. Ever since I got smile surgery done, I've been carrying around eye drops just to make sure my eyes stay moist. The next item is a lifesaver. There are many times when we're on the trip with friends that we would get random headaches or whatever, and the Advil just came really in handy. Advil is not available in Hong Kong, so I have a large bottle and I transfer a few pills into this travel size one and carry it around with me in my bag. This Chloe card holder acts as my secondary wallet. This is where I keep my cash and my membership cards, but I generally don't reach for it when it's in my bag. Because everything is cashless now, I just need my Smithson card holder to tap and pay. But I do keep this with me because it is of sentimental value. This is a gift from Victor many years ago. These are the Triomphe sunglasses by Celine I bought in Paris a few years ago for my birthday. I feel like every influencer and her mom has this pair, but I still like to wear them because I find that this oval shape is very flattering. And yes, I do keep it in another baggie because I find the Celine uh, sunglass case to be very cumbersome and I need something more streamlined that I can just toss in my bag, but that can also protect my sunnies. I also like how the tortoise shell color gives these sunglasses a vintage look and the gold Celine logo on the side just makes this uh, pair of sunglasses really pop. Another travel essential is a portable battery charger. 
When we were traveling around Tokyo, I primarily used my phone to navigate on Google Maps and use my phone to shoot videos. And because it was hot and it was the summer, the sun would cause my phone to overheat and would drain my battery very quickly. We have two versions of this portable battery by Chiro. The previous one was USB and it was pink, but because now they have another version with the USB-C, which means faster charging, we upgraded it. You can fully charge it twice on an iPhone 15 Pro Max, and this light will indicate how much juice you got left. I know these are very unfashionable, but I still like to use the EarPods by Apple's just force of habit. They still get caught in my bag in a big tangled mess, but these are what I use to listen to music on the go. I really struggled with chapped lips and it wasn't until I used Vaseline that I found that this worked the best for me. If you saw my previous video, I did a lip balm keychain tutorial and I added some gadget bond to my lip balm. This one is the coffee capsule toy from Dutour. You can also hang it from your bag and decorate your bag with these lip balm keychains. But honestly, this is just my excuse to uh, use my capsule toys to decorate everything that I own. This is a mini compact mirror that I rolled at the Gachapon store. This sugar brand transformed its packaging into these miniature sparkly mirrors that you can roll at Bandai Namco. So when we were in Nagoya, me and my two girlfriends rolled a couple of them as friendship mirrors. We like how the sparkly facade gives it that look of sugar granules and even the back has the nutrition label printed on the back. The mirror even stands on its own, so it makes it extra useful when you're on the go. I always like to carry a hair claw with me wherever I go, so I can just put my hair up whenever. I was obsessed with the hibiscus hair claw trend when we went to Bali, and I bought a bunch of these and really liked just using these to jazz up an outfit. I first saw this bread coin purse in Fukuoka last year at the Miffy Bakery, but it was all sold out. But when we went to Kawagoe, I just chanced upon the Miffy Bakery there and saw that they had just restocked and I immediately bought two, one for my friend and one for myself. I plan to put some 100 yen in there for the next time we go capsule toy rolling and it just makes a cute little accessory for my bag. When we were buying bento boxes for the train ride to Onomichi, we chanced upon this at the Kunbini. It is a box of mints in the shape of the train station sign. We just thought it was really cute and just bought it as a souvenir. I know this is a ton of stuff, but let's pack my stand oil bag together. Lately, I've been really loving the Jane Birkenfein bag trend, which is just a term to describe personalizing and customizing your bag with accessories. 
I've been obsessed with the Miu Miu bags and the bag accessories that they offer. But honestly, I find it too expensive and I'd rather use my capsule toys to decorate my bag and make it more personal to me. Nobody asked, but this is my latest capsule toy purchase. I got this on the secondhand market, which is the Meiji chocolate mushroom snack. It's pretty hard to find and I'm just thrilled that I was able to get this for like 15 Hong Kong dollars. Miu Miu has these really cute uh, rope accessories, but they're just too expensive. I ended up buying a few of these on Taobao in a variety of colors that I plan to use on my bag. As for the gachapon, I plan to do a yellow green theme. So I'm adding this dango that I got from Big Camera. They're kind of squishy and fun. Now that I've created my keychain, let's add this to my bag. Another reason why I love the chubby bag is that I've seen a lot of people on Pinterest decorate their bags with ribbons, with bows, and a lot of keychains. So it just gives me inspiration on how I can decorate my bag as well. And there you have it, my personalized chubby bag from Stand Oil. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and have a great week ahead. I will see you next week. Bye-bye.